Chess is a game of unlimited beauty, but it's not just checks and attacks. You have to be creative. I'm here to share with you my knowledge of the game of chess, but I'm trying to come up with the comprehensive picture that will be helpful for you to become a better chess player and even a better decision maker. Let's call it. King g5, king c2, king f6, king b3, king e7, king c4, king d6, king b5, king c7, king a6. Boom. White lost, yes? Queen takes, then knight f5, and it's a double attack. Skewer and attraction, and it's mate. What an amazing mate. How can we prevent this rook from stopping our pawn? Let's pause. Stop the video and think. You have time to find this winning combination. Did you see that your bishop was hanging? What is yeah, the yeah. you have not c5? Uh, no, I didn't see that line. That's that's interesting. So you attack my bishop, and then you protect your bishop. Right. So let's go back and see whether we can improve and uh, what's the next logical moves. It's about coming up with new ideas, challenging your own excellence. You find your mistakes, next time you have to do better. I've been thinking about a few ideas that I never used. The one I want to show, it's another sacrifice. I like sacrifices. And it's one of my favorite openings. So just let's have a look. We cannot waste time. Time is precious. If you don't feel that the game can unleash your creative potential, then you're already on the losing side. And it's not about winning or losing, but of course, at the end of the day, it's about winning or losing. I'm Gary Kasparov, and this is my masterclass.